Alrighty, this is a video tutorial. Uh, this is a video tutorial on how to go ahead and uh, crimp connectors. I'm using it for a fan, and this fan came out of a, a JB LED A7 um, production fan um, for lighting, uh, lighting rig at our church, and this is the uh, specs of it. So if you have the same issue, this is the JSTPH 2mm connector kit. Okay, for um, two, three, four pin, two, three, four pin male. It was cheaper just to buy the whole kit. Um, this comes with a bunch of pins, two pin, three pin, and four pin. I only need the two pin connector, as you can tell. So the nice thing about this kit that it does come with the pins as well, the silver pins, and there's tons of them in there. Okay, and so what I need to do is I need to go ahead and take this connector off okay and put on this connector uh, cut it up near the front nice clean cut toss that out the way get rid of that all right start clean okay so I'm gonna go ahead and unravel this and I'm going to strip it now I've done this several times and this is what works the best okay so you want to strip more than you need in order to fit into these small connectors okay so I'm going to strip more than I need I have found that these wire strippers work the best and I'm not sure who makes them they're probably a little more expensive um, I'll try to find out and put a link down in the description below but these are really good I was using these um, these ones but these don't work as good okay All right, that's more than I need now in order for these connectors to fit I mean these wires to fit into the JSTs is that they have to be pretty short and I have found that the right size is about three millimeters no more than three millimeters so what I'm doing is I'm just twisting it to make sure it's nice and clean and I'm going to snip this bad boy it's gonna seem like oh my gosh it's way too short but it's not really believe it or not that's all I need right there okay now this is crucial the next step is crucial And get my two pin connector. Okay. And the next thing I want to do is I want to, this comes all connected. These pins come all connected. Okay, as you can tell, they're all connected on there. And so I need two of them cut off. Now here's the crucial part. The silver thing with the big holes on the top end right there, as you can tell, it's kind of holding all these pins together. Alrighty, so what we want to do is we want to utilize that. So what you have to do is you have to go ahead and cut pieces of all this that keep that there. So what you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use my tin snips uh, right there. It is crucial that you have that because you're going to need it. And I'll show you why. Alrighty, so... This is um, what it looks like. So this back end right here, you need that. You need that as a guide to go into your crimper, okay? And also you have these little wings that kind of stick up there or stick down depending on which direction. That actually wraps around the uh, wire sleeve. The crimper that I'm using is, and I'm gonna be using this in my left hand with the logo facing my right side, my right hand and it's upside down okay so here's the crimper put a description in uh, below it's the um, ice i was uh, sn 01 bm okay so it's for uh, 28 20 to 28 gauge and for all intents purposes for this project i'm going to be using the front section not the back section it's the front section that you're going to be using for the for this size okay okay what you're going to do is you're going to get up close and you're going to feed that on top of that. And the reason why I say you're going to feed it on top of that is because the two wings right here, 
that are facing down, they got to get, they got to be put in there. So what I do is I take my left thumb and my right hand holding the, um, the connector and I'm going to start from the top and holding it down, left and right hand, right there, this is the top section. What I'm doing is I'm grabbing this side on the left with my right thumb on the right, and I am literally just pushing it down, kind of wiggling it down in there. This extra piece right here must be flush against the side of the crimper, so you know that you've got it right. The other end is sticking out. You don't want to crimp that. You just want to crimp the middle. And this extra piece on the right hand side is flush all against the side of the crimper. And those two wings are inside the crimper facing down, just like that. Okay, I hope that all makes sense. Okay, we're going to feed our wire through the center hole. So what we want to do now is we want to take the crimper and we want to slowly close the crimper. Just enough to hold that in place right there I'm not even barely touching it be honest with you all right take my wire and you literally have to make sure that you push it in okay you want to make sure that the wire is in as all the way as it can go okay and holding it down go ahead and crimp until it crimps all the way and then release and then slowly wiggle this and there we go, it pops out. This piece right here that we're using as a guide to go flush against the crimper, yeah, we can get rid of that now. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take a cut of pliers and just grab a hold of it right there and just kind of bend it and it easily just pops. All right, there we go, popped off. Okay, and we want to feed that wire into that hole. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that it goes all the way through. And just when you think that it's not all the way through, just keep on wiggling it and pushing it in. And I just did that, and it did go in even a little bit more. So make sure that the bare wire goes through the hole. Okay, and that's good right there. Now pushing it in and holding it, go ahead and push, go ahead and crimp, crimp down. All the way, went all the way down, release, give it a slow wiggle. Okay, and you should see that the red sleeve is sticking out on the other side of those two wings that grabbed onto it. That is important. You want to make sure you get a good grip on that. That those two wings wrap around this red sleeve and get a good hold on it sticking out on the other side. That's why you have to cut your wire at least three millimeters short because you've noticed from the edge of the sleeve you have three millimeters before it hits this Big piece right here that sticks down you don't you don't want it to go any further than that because um, when you're pushing it in if it's too long you won't grab the wire and crimp around the wire you won't grab a hold of the wire with those two sleeves um, it will be sticking over here and then it just won't work very well alrighty so now let's just get rid of the extra piece on the tops I already did this one you just want to grab that And you just want to do a bend back and forth. Boom, gone. Okay. Now, what's gonna what what you're gonna notice is that when you try to slide this in here, it goes in right there. See right there. What you're gonna notice is when you slide in there, it's not gonna go all the way in because that silver uh, metal right there is too fat. And I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to squeeze it and thin it out a little bit. There we go. All right, now I'm going to get my connectors and my blue goes on the one side, my red on the other side. 
Alrighty, so here we go. Now, it should fit in there beautifully, so this is the orientation that it goes in. Okay, just in case you're wondering. Okay, the fat piece in the front goes down. The little connector on the top grabs right here and holds it in place. So here we go. And give it some force and it should click in there. One, two, three, and push in. Aha, you heard that click? Clicked in there. Get my red one. Unravel this a little bit. Let's do the red one now. The red one looks a little fat still, so we'll see what happens. Let's see if it will click. And will it click? Well, don't know. We'll have to grab a hold of this wire right here and push it in. And it's barely clicking. It's not clicked yet because I can pull it out, so I'm going to try it again. All right, there it went. It didn't quite click, but it went in. All right, so it's in because when I try to pull it out, it won't come out. All right, so we're good. It's going to kind of seed it in there good. Okay, I hope this uh, helped everybody that's uh, wanting to know how to, number one, crimp these small little wires. Uh, that's the way to do it. Uh, also, I'm going to go ahead and just show you something, too, that I also bought because I knew that these things are so little that I can barely see what I'm doing. So I bought this little contraption on Amazon, and um, it was only like $16, I believe, but it's, it's beautiful. It works really well. I'm going to go ahead and show you what it is right here. Okay. And it's a rechargeable LED eyeglass bracket headband interchangeable magnifier. Uh, you put this on your head. I wear prescription glasses. Uh, I have um, I'm nearsighted and farsighted. Uh, I forgot what the name is right now off the top of my head, but um, I have a really tough time seeing close up and far away. Um, there's a name for it. I just kind of lost track of my mind here for a second there, but it does magnify. You can use several of these. I'm using the 2.5x um, um, magnification, and um, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and pull, pull it off of my head so you can see. I'm actually wearing it right now while I'm filmed because I'm looking at my camera phone so I can see what I'm doing closer. Okay. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to take it off my head. Mm, that is it right here. And it works wonders. Like I said, I wear prescription glasses. So this makes a huge difference. It actually still works. It um, comes with a headband if you need one. I don't really need a headband. But it does come with a bunch of uh, lenses right here. Alrighty, like I said, I'm using the, um, I think it's the 2.5 version lens. Let me just pop this open here real quick. Okay, it comes really nice in these little um, container. This is the strongest one. I think this is a 3, 3x. Okay, I'm using the second watch, which is a 2.5x. And then it kind of goes down from there all the way to like a 1.0x, which doesn't do much magnification, but um, I've, I'm using the um, 2.5x on you. And uh, the top button has the LED. If I push on the top button, an LED shows up so, and it gets brighter if I push it on again. And that turns it off. It's a lifesaver. Okay, so this is the crimper is the um, iwas sn01bm okay the connectors that are working for me i bought two connectors but this is the one that was the right size is the jst ph2 millimeter connector kit i bought the whole connector kit because it was cheaper this was only ten dollars for all of these i'll never use all of them Okay, it's got the silver plated connectors and then it has the, uh, the white um, male housing. Uh, it comes in 2-pin, 3-pin and 4-pin. Okay, alrighty, I hope this helps anybody that wants to know how to uh, crimp connectors on these 24-gauge uh, wires and um, how to do it properly and successfully.
get yourself a good wire stripper these work phenomenally well let me see if I can tell what they are it's a Milwaukee and uh, I'm not sure what else is on there but anyway yeah these are probably more expensive but they work beautifully all right i hope this has helped uh, you and i'll see you in the next video